I just start off by uh, just uh, uh, saying, you know, thank you for the talk, and uh, maybe we could just uh, give us a quick, just a very short uh, summary of some of the key points that you'd like to leave with participants uh, through this video. I think our focus is really on the learner, the athlete, the student. Um, I think it's important to allow them to explore their own individualized movement solutions. Um, be less prescriptive. I think the coach and the practitioner should see themselves as facilitators of learning. So you shape the behaviors by manipulating what I mentioned, like the different constraints, like the task, environment, and, and the performer. Uh, and when through that manipulation of constraints, you allow the interaction of those different classes of constraints, and you see, you know, their own behaviors emerging. So you don't have to prescribe exactly how you do it. You know, the focus on movement form. Perhaps it's overemphasized. Uh, well, form is important to some extent, you know, safety concerns, but I think achieving the task outcome I think is critical. And the process is really to allow them to enjoy the experience, to explore, to be engaged. As I mentioned about competency, I mentioned about autonomy, I mentioned about relatedness. I think that's important. I think when the students are engaged in that manner, they are active learners. And so, therefore, the coach and the practitioner, like I mentioned, will be facilitating the experience rather than telling you exactly I want you to do this, 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 this. So you give the kids the autonomy. So I think that's where I'm coming from really. <laughs> very good. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much.